Good morning. Let's make some breakfast together. Oh my goodness. We just got in from a walk and Scout didn't get anything off the ground in her mouth. So, kudos to me and kudos to her. Poetry snaps. Love that. <laughs> I just put some olive oil in the pan. I'm gonna put some eggies in there once that heats up. Probably the rest of this broccoli is cooking very slim. We've got some coconut milk. I'm gonna make some oats with coconut milk. A little water. blueberries and then once it's cooked I like to put banana in it I don't like to put that in when it's cooking it makes it like really soft and mushy and to go in the oats we've got oats chia seeds and black seeds I'm running out of room on where to put this stuff but first, we've got to go into here and turn on the range. And then turn on these little kitchen ones so we can also make a coffee. Come on, little baby. Now we can turn the stove on. 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 Okay. For oats, I like to do a fourth cup of them. I think that's the serving size. A fourth cup of oats. And it seems like so little. Like when I put it in the pot, I'm like, literally that's gonna be half my breakfast. Um, where's the other half? But it's so wild. Once I put the coconut milk, the water, the blueberries, these chia seeds, and the flax seeds, but I think the chia seeds the most help out with giving it more volume. So when I put it in a bowl, it's actually a full bowl full of oats. But it started off as this puny, tiny little bit. So wild. I personally like two tablespoons of chia seeds in my oats and i only started doing chia seeds in my oats probably like a few years ago i only started eating chia seeds sometime during the pandemic i'd always been curious about them like i've worked with a girl that made chia seed pudding like an overnight oats with chia seeds and stuff like that but i was like mm, yeah i don't know that sounds so weird but then um, during quarantine, I tried them. Once I think I started putting them in like my smoothies and stuff like that, protein shakes, those types of things. Um, and I was like, okay, actually they add volume and they help keep me full. Um, and I noticed that they help, you know, keep you regular. But I was like, okay like maybe we can do this and they're not bad then i was like okay i want to try to put them in my oats i don't know how this is gonna go am i gonna like this but then i tried it i didn't really like it at first but i kept trying it and then i don't know it just grew on me and now i love it and i eat it every day and if there's a day i don't have like chia seeds because i have to go to the grocery store and have to eat my oats without chia seeds, I get like so distraught and upset and I contemplate like making something completely different or going out for breakfast. It's wild. And then I just put however much blueberries I want to my heart's content. I don't like measure the blueberries, kind of just, okay. 
because it's Thursday. And I usually buy one of these containers per week. So I go through the whole container in a week. So if today is Thursday, then I should have enough for Friday and Saturday's breakfast in here. And then head up to the grocery store sometime Saturday or Sunday morning. We have that interview today. So I've got a shower and I blow out my hair for that. It's the one that's in St. Pete that's in a test. But it's like from 1 to 3.30. So it's not only a test, but they want you to meet with a bunch of people. Like, you guys should just give the test and get it out the way because I don't even know if I'm going to pass this test. I don't even know exactly what's on the test, you know? And tests always give me anxiety. Like I've been saying, I'm not a girl that does well at tests. So the odds of me doing well at this test, enough for them to hire me are slim to none. And I'll be actually surprised. Um, hopefully they're not going to grade it right there in front of me. And... I want, I want to turn it in and then leave and walk out the door. So that way, if I never have to see them again, I never have to see them again. Like, hopefully they're giving me the test at the end after I meet with all these people. Got to meet with the CEO, Chris or something like that. I've got to look. And a couple other big wigs at the company. It's a much, much, much smaller company. So they all sit right there. The CEO sits right there in the office where I will be sitting. Not in the same area, but they have like a whole floor. And actually you think that me saying they have a whole floor would be huge, but it's not big. So interesting. Today will be interesting. We've got to get on our game. And I still have like so many little Amazon shoppable videos that I want what I make and I checked on the ones that I made yesterday and uploaded all of them have been approved published um except for one so now I've made my three videos to unlock my on-site commission for some reason there's still a little lock up there I don't know if it's just because I haven't earned any commission off my videos and once I do that the lock will go but the lock is still out there but it says I have my three shoppable videos so and i love making them so i want to make at least one this morning and then i gotta focus on studying for an accounting exam i guess and then wash my hair and leave out the door around 12 so i can be there at one be there a little before one and welcome back to the rachel show Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, time to open the blinds, little mama. Get some sunshine in here. And then time to eat breakfast. Why do you look like that? You look like a little hunchback, a little sad girl. So far, this is all the videos I have. Um, all of these have been published. I just made one for my little coffee bean grinder because I love it. And I feel like so many people probably don't realize that you can make yummy lattes at home with basic equipment. You don't need the fancy coffee grinders and all. They're nice and they probably do even a better job, but I've perfected, you know, my perfect little lattes that I drink every morning. I'm actually drinking one right now. So I made that little video. Um, I love making these because personally when I go to Amazon and I'm skeptical about buying stuff, I would love to see videos like this. Um, and I'm, I know that there's plenty other creators doing these. I love seeing these kind of videos because it helps me know like, A, like, you know, if it's clothing, will it fit me? Especially because I'm five foot. So I like to know if things are going to fit me well because I'm five foot. But also just like I was saying the other day, buying this coffee maker, this espresso machine. I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. 
you know, because it's, for me, $150 is a big investment. So having little videos like this showcasing that it all works, how it works, your kind of honest thoughts on it in a quick little 15 second, one minute long video is like golden. So I love making these videos. I'm actually off to go make two more and then get myself ready for the day in all of that. I wanna make one for my pillow and I'm about to go make my skincare one. And I think I might put the skincare one here on my channel because someone was asking me what my skincare is. My skincare regime. So I think I might do a little morning skincare and then link all my products. And I love my pillow and I got it on Amazon like last year. It's not deflated or anything. And so I'm obsessed with it. I sleep with it every night. I am going to go make a video of that really quick. And hopefully I'll have time to edit both of those before I have to go to this interview. We'll see. Hey, mid blow out. Hair is looking, y'all, my hair is getting long. I'm going to eventually have to find me a hairstylist to get me a trim. I am in my trim era. I used to dye my hair back pre like COVID lockdown times. And I dyed my hair probably about three months or a few weeks right before we went into lockdown. And then my hair just started to grow out. And then I was like, well, dang, let me just grow it out and see what happens, you know? it. By the time we, you know, got ready to go back to regular life in salons, like my hair had already grown out several inches. I was like, well, I haven't been like with my regular version hair, if they want to say, um, since years, years before that, I had like, I had always dyed my hair basically. And I had always like gone dark to super blonde. And, and when I say dark, I mean like medium blonde, like a darker blonde, like maybe light 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 brown with like tons of blonde highlights like that was the darkest i had been but i was like a blonde queen platinum blonde queen if i can find some photos i would put them in this vlog i don't know if i can but i love my hair like that but eventually it just got so damaged and i couldn't have it longer because it was always just so fried even when i stopped going dark the light and I just kept going light and I just kept up with the lightness like I still had so much breakage it was like ridiculous so when we went into lockdown it was like a blessing in disguise that I got to take a break and then I honestly haven't went back like I've debated a couple times adding like making it like more of a white gray because it has a lot of gray in it but then also um, possibly just adding some highlights and kind of like mixing it all in. I have a lot of darker underneath and then a lot of my gray and stuff is up here. Um, I used to be a blonde headed child, dirty blonde headed child when I was growing up. So being blonde has always been a part of my identity. Um, but honestly, I, most of the time I'm not bothered by like my gray hair or like my natural hair color. Um, I just love that my hair is just so much healthier these days and I have so much length. So the really only thing that I go for at a hair salon is a trim. And I'm eventually going to have to find me a stylist because I like a trim every like 8 to 12 weeks just to keep the ends from being all fried and dried out looking because I do blow dry my hair at least once or twice a week. So I like to come keep up with my um trim so i don't know scared to find a new hairstylist um but we're eventually gonna have to break down and just do that or get some hair cutting scissors on amazon and watch a youtube tutorial and get myself a trim i mean for goodness sakes i'm not gonna chop off my hair i just need to trim my end so can it really be that hard of course i won't have like the layers and stuff that i have in my hair now those eventually just grow out so, I don't know. We don't have to worry about it quite yet. We'll have to figure it out soon, though. My new obsession is going to make me late for this interview. I don't even know what to freaking wear. 
Okay, I'm thinking keep it keep it simple. This little top and the Abercrombie pants that I wore last time because quite honestly, they were more of a business casual, heavy on the casual when I came in for my interview last week. Um, also, I haven't eaten lunch. I haven't fed Scout. And it is 11.56 and my interview's at 1. So we need to wrap this up and get the heck out the door. I don't even have five time to walk Scout for lunch. I'm all, I think I'm just going to have to head and not give her a walk until later on. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. And I did get another <laughs> shoppable video up. I've gotten two up today. One for my pillow that I've had for like a year that I bought on Amazon that I am obsessed with. I was skeptical at first about buying it, but I love it. So love to share what I love with people out there. And then what else did I add up this morning? Oh yeah, my coffee bean grinder thing that I told you guys about. So gotten those two up. I have so many more videos like my shower head that I'm obsessed with. Like, literally, I haven't even had time to make the list because I'm literally so busy all the time or I'm so tired from being so busy all the time. Even though I feel like I'm not really busy, I'm always doing something, though. And we have to watch the Kardashians today. Come on. It is next episode is already out. I don't even have time to do that. Like, maybe I'll sit down and, like, get takeout for dinner and make a little moment of it, of watching it and taking out for a moment and get into my cleaning and all. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I feel guilty about relaxing and um, I think that stems from my childhood. Even though we were allowed to sit around and relax, we definitely had times that we had to get busy with it and get the cleaning done. So I don't really know where this I feel guilty for relaxing comes from, but gracious. All right, we're going to make a little tuna cotto on a pita and get dressed and get the heck up out of here. I don't even know if I have time for makeup, but I want to throw something on. I can't go without at least my brows being done. Gracious. Makeup is done. Outfit is on. Outfit is on. Ah! I'm chaotic right now. Outfit is on and I don't even care. I'm wearing sneakers. I wore those little loafers last time from Walmart and they would be so cute with this fit, but they hurt my ankles or they hurt the back of my ankles. And quite frankly, the back of my ankles are still in recovery from last week. So yeah, I am so nervous. I don't know what's going to be on this test. All I know from my accounting classes, all I know from my accounting classes since my major is accounting that um, debits are actually credits and debits have to equal credits or credits have to equal debits. Like if you take money from your account, that's actually a credit and you have to debit something else. <laughs> I don't know. Why do we have this convoluted system in America? Ah, never know. I don't really know. Is this going to be like a 20 question thing? Is it going to be multiple choice? Is it going to be like solve and answer? And I don't like this. This kind of stuff just drives me crazy. I mean, the job market is just insane. I've never taken a test for a job and I'll have to do this one. Not alone. Not only do I have to do this one, I have... The one in my email from yesterday that I need to worry about that I'm thinking I'm going to work on tomorrow. I know it's kind of last minute to do it on the day that it's due, but I'm thinking I'll wake up. I'll take myself to like Tampa or something like that. Coffee shop, park my ass there for a couple of hours working on that and getting out of the house. And then, um, yeah, we'll do that. But I'm going to throw my lunch together and get out into the car and we're gone. Wearing this little purse. I think my notebook from last week is in the car with a pen. So, yeah, we're good. Well, I know three, so I'm running a little behind. I'm not worried about it. If I'm a couple of minutes late, like, it is what it is. It takes an hour to get here. 
Um, even though my GPS says 39 minutes, it takes an hour. <sighs> I've been prepping in the car, like listening to YouTube tutorials on accrual accounting and interest, compound interest and the accruing interest. And I'm just like, are we living in 2023 or we live in 1994? Because at any of my other jobs, where I had to do all of that kind of stuff, there was already an Excel built out that did all of that. So I didn't really have to think about doing all the calculations. <sighs> it's a stress. <sighs> I don't like to do this, but at the same time, like if I do well enough and they offer me the job, like I will take a job offer. Parked on level two, so I don't forget. Wearing these sneakers, was an absolute positive and right decision. I feel like you can't really tell. And they're so comfortable. Elevator Chronicles, y'all. Oh my goodness. The lady just called me. I'm like 10 minutes late for my interview. I'm never late. Oh, that means if I got the job, I would have to leave like an hour and a half before the workday even starts. If the workday starts at 8.30, I'm going to have to leave at 7. I'm going to have to wake up at 5. I, I don't know what's going on, but there is extremely high volume of goth dress people in Tampa. Or in St. Pete right now today, this afternoon. Like, is that normal? I don't feel like I've ever seen that many. Is there an event going on? I don't know. I mean, they were cute, but they were like dressed up in their goth attire, giving brat style energy, giving cute brat style energy. Um, but just never seen so many all, all at once congregating at Starbucks. Had my interview and then I am so brain drained because I literally went from one to 3 30 three separate one-on-ones and then a test and the test was very much like I know I keep getting potential spam calls um the test was very much like stuff that I used to do in my uh, old job but it's like I don't remember all of that stuff it's been two years also, y'all are going to train me how to do the job. Like My resume speaks for itself that I know how to do this job. Just because I don't do well at tests means I could potentially not get this job. I don't know. I'm a little, like, don't think I'm going to get this job because after I was 10 minutes late, by the time I walked into the building and whatnot, she had to call me. When I was literally downstairs trying to get on the elevator to go upstairs, but the guy was trying to ask me why I was there. She was calling me and I was trying to tell her like, hey, I'm downstairs, gonna be up in a second. But like, I left in enough time to get there. I just don't know, like I got stuck behind every red light and then I got stuck behind a truck. So it made me a couple minutes late and I thought I was gonna be like on time. Um, because when I left, I had a good three or four minutes and then it ended up being three or four minutes late it just kept adding more time to my like gps as i went along on my route here um the three one-on-ones were kind of annoying because it's like they asked a lot of the same questions i should have just like recorded myself and like press play for you know anytime you were going to ask the same question the last person just asked me um all in all i think it went well besides just being late and i'm not quite sure how i did on the test but at the end of the interview she was like yeah we're not in a rush we're just we're still hot interviewing people and we'll just let you know so that right there told me everything that i need to know they're not gonna hire me bet my bottom dollar on that Oh, we still have that test in our email that we need to get to. I'm going to get to that tomorrow. My brain is completely fried. In fact, I'm debating on whether I'm going to go to this job interview thing. It's a, um, 
it's not a job interview it's like a job fair for a restaurant that's not even open I'm kind of like yeah that sounds cool and all but it's like I need to work for a company that's already open so I think we need to do another round of going out with our resume to restaurants but not to the ones at beachfront that sounds great and all like love to take my breaks there but it doesn't seem like those are more seasonal and it sounds like it's off season which sounds crazy because I still feel like there would be a bunch of snowbirds and then in the summer there would be a bunch of families and people like vacationing so I feel like it should be an all year experience but apparently not so I think I need to go down like downtown Tampa downtown Clearwater and just like park and walk around to restaurants and do that um instead of trying to go to some place that's not even open i don't even know when they're opening and my brain is fried i'm peopled out my social battery is kaput so i am going to head home and i would like to make more of the shoppable videos i have one more that I made this morning that I did not have time to edit. So I would like to edit that and get that up. Hang out with Scout. Make a tuna cotto. Or maybe get some dinner somewhere and watch Kardashians. Because Thursday. I am getting a little stressed because. I don't know. I just need a job. And I'm like oh my gosh. This is so hard. And I feel like I'm grinding so hard for social media. Because. I would much rather take all my time and learn all of this while I have the time. Um, and I'm loving it and I'm having so much fun just showing up here every day and do my cleanings, my vlogs, and do my shoppable videos on Amazon. I love all of this. And I want this to be my full-time job right now, but I'm not making any money. So, gotta figure out how I'm gonna pay the bills. Anyway, let's get the heck up out of here. I'm just driving home still, and I'm like, my social battery is drained over like a two and a half hour span that I was at that office. How am I ever going to go back to a job, especially one in an office setting or one where I have to go and be there around people? Pray for me. I mean, granted, it was an interview, and interviews are just exhausting because you have to be, like, on your P's and Q's, on your A game, on 10, and I just hate them. <sighs> Gracious. I also have some brand collab stuff in my email, so I need to get to that, and I still want to figure out this UGC thing now that I'm making all these little Amazon videos. I want to try to maybe reach out to those brands or put those in my portfolio and find some other UGC things like I'm seeing girls on TikTok slay, say or claim that they've left their 9 to 5s for like doing UGC and honestly these videos are so much fun and they're not hard to make and they don't take a lot of time granted you can make stuff send it to the brand and them not like it and have to redo it so I'm sure there's a good bit of trying to like trial and error when you're doing it for a brand versus just you making a video for Amazon and as long as it approved or is by the guidelines you're getting approved, you know. Might not be necessarily what the brand would have put out on their social media. But yeah, I'm gonna figure that out. Like there's gotta be another way to be making some money right now during this time where I'm looking for a job. Hey babies! Hey cutie! Come here! Come here! Ooh, you know what we gotta do? Clean your ears. You didn't let me do that yesterday! Let's do that. Let's clean your ears. I have miss you too. I have miss you too. I have miss you too. We need to clean your ears and your belly and all of the things. Will you let me do that if I go get the stuff? Will you let me do it if I can go get the stuff? You are so beautiful. I have missed you. I have missed you. Yeah, mommy needs to find a job so that way 
I can stay at home with Scout Scout all day long and never has to talk to real people. Is that a job? Is there a job to do that? Is there a job to stay at home with my little munchkin? I love you. Because you don't have any hair on your lower stomach, Mama. And you wake up with a sweaty stomach every morning now. Yeah! Okay, let's make sure we get the cook cook. I love you. You. Why is this so dirty from your tummy and your cookie? Gross! Mamas. This ma'am's. You like this? You like this? You had like this? Oh, grossness. Grossness. Let that air dry. Let that dry out. We're gonna have to start putting you in a little onesie or something. Okay. I know you don't have like this part. It's giving Scout Scout needs her ears cleaned. And I am the woman for that. Ew! Ew! Ma'am! What? Who are you? Why is your ear so gross? Ugh. It's so gross and so disgusting, and I'm so sorry that you've been dealing with this. I love you. I love you, and I wish you all the best. But we just got a whole bunch of gunk out your ear. Let's clean that. Let it dry out. I miss you. Yeah! I miss you. I love all the cuddles. Uh huh. I let you go. Why is this my life? I can't multitask. I'm over here trying to read emails. I'm not paying attention, so it's totally my fault. She has watermelon today. At least it's not a chicken bone. What is even life this week? This kid is picking stuff up every single day now. It's getting out of hand. Why can't people just throw their trash in the mother freaking trash can? I literally could scream at human beings. I could Let me come down because there's people around me. Oh, they'd be screaming outside and acting a fool, but I was so pissed off and I could literally scream because why are adults, why are children doing this? Putting shit on the ground or animals that are pets that have food allergies, that have issues to pick up like be considerate of other people. Like I do my best to like even clean up Scout's poop. You know, I pick up every little turd. 
the people leave shit on the ground. <sighs> I'm currently on the verge of a mental breakdown. I literally think I'm about to cry my eyes out. I just, I can't take this. Like, I just want to take my dog on a walk. Like, I just want to take you on a walk. I don't want to deal with this. <sighs> I'm out and tired. I have got a laundry list of things that I'm trying to, to do and want to do. And I'm giving up an hour of my day, three times a day, to take you on a walk for you to do this to me. <sighs> I'm so upset with Scout. I'm more upset with humans that can't fucking put their trash away. <sighs> Did it even make sense that I'm bribing him with the blueberry to give me watermelon? I know it doesn't like literally nothing makes sense anymore and I'm just I've had it I'm hot I'm sweaty I'm drained I'm tired and I don't want to do this anymore scout like I don't feel like doing what dealing with this I don't I don't can you please just give that up <sighs> All right, I'm gonna have my minty be in peace. <laughs> you're on my mother freaking hair. I know you're hot from this walk, but I did all the work, okay? I had to carry you back. Get off my hair, please. Scout, I love you, but get off my mother freaking hair. You're hurting me and I'd like to get up. And I also don't want your booty in my face. Why am I looking over and seeing tail hair? Ma'am. Ow, you're pulling my hair. Honey, I know you're getting a little snappy, but I... You're pulling my hair. Get off me. Oh! Lord. Probably bald on the side of my head from you. Kitchen is clean, and I need to go take myself a shower or something, because... Everything is so slowly turning into my 13th reason why tonight, starting with Scout having that watermelon in her mouth. Then we move on to when I'm cleaning the kitchen and I drop the little shot glass that you guys see me like pour all my little shots with. Um, it's not really a shot glass. I don't know what you call it, but you put your espresso in there and it like measures it perfectly. And now I'm like, dang, I don't have anything on hand to measure it. So, because before I felt like, before I was using it, I've had it for a while. Before I was using it, I wasn't measuring properly. And I was pouring way too much espresso, espresso into my coffees in the morning. It was tasting water down. But since I started using that, like, everything has been on point. And now I dropped it, shattered it. It's gone. I had to clean that. Then we move on to just cleaning, and this thing won't stay up anymore. Um, I can't remember it and everything else that happened, but basically, I am so annoyed right now. <sighs> oh, yeah. Uh, also, when I was cleaning glass, I was like, dang, I don't have a dustpan. I don't know what the heck to do if I drop glass. Like when I dropped glass a couple weeks ago, I just picked up most of it and then vacuumed up the rest. But today I was like, it's all in the little shards. I ended up just having to pick up as much as I could and then vacuum up the rest. But oh my God. I'm just really annoyed right now. I need to go take a shower, have a good evening, reset myself and have a better day tomorrow. Like I refuse to let this bleed into my evening and make me have a terrible evening because I was having a decent day but I don't know I'm just like I think I'm also just so annoyed because I like had to go and take that test at that place and it took me an hour to get there and it's like do I really want to drive an hour for work every day if I get the job no but do I need a job yes and like the parking garage is downtown it's just a lot you know I think all of that is just working on my like nerves or something i don't know i don't know i'm gonna go take myself a shower reset and have a good rest of the evening i wish i had a little treat to pick me up but i'll be okay 
But I'm gonna see you guys later. You guys know that I've had a bad rest of the night and I will talk to you tomorrow when I have a bad attitude or better attitude. Thanks for hanging with me and hopefully I'll chime back in later and let you know if my rest of my evening went well. Blessed is in God's hands. Jesus, take the wheel right now. Okay, life is pretty sweet again. I've had my shower. I edited my ASMR. I got that up. I have some other ideals. It's, still, it's brewing in my head this evening after my shower for my little Amazon storefront videos. And I went to go check to see if I... Um, have gotten any views or sales. I haven't gotten any sales, sales, but I went from like two views to nine views. So people are seeing my videos. <laughs> That's step one. Step two is in buying stuff from the videos. They're already on Amazon perusing and shopping. It's almost Christmas season. And I'm just getting started with the videos. I'm about to put up about Four, I have five more tomorrow if I can. She, I need to do that test though for that job. So we gotta get that out of the way first thing and then we have the rest of the day to focus on all of the videos that we could possibly wanna make to our heart's content. But I love you guys, thanks for hanging. I'm so glad my mood picked back up. I knew I would be better after I had a shower and just had a few moments to breathe. I just. When I come in, it's just like, go, 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 go. Like it was after my interview, it was just, it's a lot on my stress. Like my cortisol levels were ha, but now we're doing fine. Love y'all, bye.